tunes on listening to this show. How's it going, guys? Let's get Sawyer. Sixty minutes yet, so episode nine was good. It was good. Yo, these headphones aren't built for that eight oh eight. I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna swap the audio out because I'm not sure if the eight oh eights are as clean as they should be. So I tried to fix it post pre show, but didn't. I don't know. I think it's good. That's, it sounds good in my studio, but you know, once you take it to other studios, <laughs> you might have to do some more cleaning. <laughs> So what's going on, guys? Hey, hey what's spaghetti. Going on? Hey. I'm, I'm walking the earth again. I almost, I, well, no, it's just a cold. I'm not going to. Yeah, don't, don't had a cold. It. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> don't be a bitch about it. I went through a box and <laughs> a half of tissues. Corn. You said what now? I went through a box and a half of tissues. Oh, well, there, you go. there you go. There you go for struggle. You weren't hydrated enough. <laughs> you weren't hydrated enough, man. You didn't drink no, enough water um, while yeah. you were sick. That's what it was. All right, so I I irresponsibly waited to the last minute to send out the topics today. So you know I what never though, got them. you picked. So let's run was, through. It was that last minute. Yeah, yeah. you picked good ones though. Cause I heard. Of, I think I heard of all of them. Yeah, let's all right, just so skim through them. The first topic, um, pretty cut and dry. The Parkland, Florida Parkland High School. What's the name of the high school? I don't know. I had like four names, right? Yeah, oh, Florida, not man. to be dismissive. Parkland, Florida uh, mass shooting. They have video of the deputy. Knowing the shooting was going on right. and just like standing outside of the school, he shows up on a golf cart with a gun on his hip <laughs> and stands there. He stands there, and I. But they they can find <laughs> a way to shoot an unarmed black man though. It's true though. Right. It's true. But if I'm but the when deputy, guns busting, I may not run in there either. Nah, no, I mean, see, job, that's just right? like yeah, that that's his job, right? That's just the thing, man. It's Nobody, kids in there. No, you can have all the training in the world and still and freeze. still be a pussy. I never freeze. <laughs> I yeah. never freeze. <laughs> but you like, have all the training in the world and still be flaccid as hell. Right. Just kids in there. That's your fucking job. And Run he's in there. Still froze. No GI Joe. Guns busting. No so G- you're telling me I played enough Mar- I ain't, well, First I ain't of all, I'm Tech Supreme. Sketch Sawyer. Hate Nate. Siraj. <laughs> A special guest. I don't know Marty. <laughs> you don't know Marty? Okay. I don't know Marty. I'm I don't know Marty. Marty. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Back what in the doing? day. All right, forgot to do the introductions. Um, but uh, you guys, you guys are telling me you guys are running in there. Uh, I'm running I in there, dog. I can't. I, I could be Donald Trump and say I would run in there with no weapon. Well, but who? I can't know what I would. <laughs> I know I'm a gangster at paintball, but I don't know what would happen <laughs> if I know they buzzing downstairs, bro. I'm upstairs. I'm, I'm not right. going downstairs going right now. Stage. Now I've done some. I'm going in quasi heroic shit. The kids. I've still. Nah, you know, no, you're not. Yes, I am, bro. You going? If you're the deputy, Do you see this, it's your you job. See this straight face on Nate right now. I'm going in there. I'm letting <laughs> he might he might little Timothy have it. What picture do you want on your T-shirt? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I got some good selfies. Okay, you got plenty. Of that's only kind from. of funny. A teacher, a couple teachers. One teacher actually died. No, it's fucking terrible. Teacher, it's terrible. But P- P- them teacher. teachers, them teachers ran in the way of them bullets. Yep. So why couldn't that officer whose job it is? To die for us. We pay your tax dollars for you to die, nigga. So go in there and do your fucking job. Because a motherfucking Marine... He should get fired. He don't have no motherfucking choice, do he? Uh, no Army vet. None of them guys have a fucking choice. They going out there. They catching them bullets if they on the front line. They in that motherfucking ship and they get shot down. They f- going down with that shit. That's their fucking job. You a police officer. That's your fucking job to put your life in the fucking line of duty. If you not going to do that... You soft and you don't need a job. Insert special effect. This has been a hate Nate moment. Like everybody in the room. <laughs> <is looking at you. laughs> that shit made me so mad, dog. Yeah, it's tell, 17 bro. kids died because this nigga was being a pussy. Yep. I mean, yeah. Fucking blue lives matter. That's my your ass. job. Yeah. If, if I'm the custodian and I fucking run, okay, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the motherfucker. <coughs> all I'm St. saying Louis is, all, here's what St. Louis City do? They just spent all that. Fucking money on these offices. These motherfuckers can't go in. Here's my point. 
you're not running in. I'm running in, bro. Most people aren't running in. I so run. is he wrong for not running in? Yes. Yeah, it's his job. It's his job. Yeah. It's his job. Yeah. He at least yeah. try. I yes. mean, what if he's to secure and serve. the he's outside got a gun. area? If he, he didn't have a gun, he had pepper spray. And, and serve. first of all, dip, like okay, he wasn't he was called a there. Cop, he wasn't called there, right? He I, was already there because he's off duty, okay. working. So he so already his job knows still, his job. So the fifty dollars a week they probably giving him, the hundred dollars a week they giving him. You play the devil's advocate long enough, you just he chose that. What you turn to the devil? You just come on now. I'm just saying he chose that. Me personally, I I know I have friends who are cops. Around the same thing, police officers do. He could have done something else. I don't know one. I don't know one person, present company included, that's gonna run in. I'm running in. You say you're running in. Young Nas in there, man. You you're know, running in you if know. your son's in there. This is like, oh, right. it's like Alien Covenant, right? Like you're gonna if, you're gonna jeopardize everybody officer, for your son. That's, that's but for what these, I'm. That's what I'm doing the oath for. Man, you know somebody that would run in. That's what I'm doing the oath for, you right? Do. You have to. <laughs> I'm running in. I'm running in for y'all niggas. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you running in if, <laughs> if Nate's in the, in the blank space basement and it's popping off. You running in to save Nate? Hey. If I'm pissed, if I'm strapped hey, up, uh, only uh, way I'm running if I don't have no strap. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna look at your uh, Facebook profile. Like, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get I'm this shirt. I'm not gonna run in with a stick. The I'm conversation has evolved. All right, in PUBG, if, if you have a P1911 and they have an AK with scope on it, you running? You who's gonna win that battle? My you, go, guy, you running in? That little dude can't shoot like that. You Mike, you a trained shooter? Mike ain't get, you? Might get a lucky headshot. <laughs> on you, yeah, you're right? <laughs> <laughs> My little homie got locked up for shooting a cop in the head. Did the cop die? Yeah, he died. Oh well, that was justifiable lockup then, right? I mean, little homie accidentally shot him in the head. He was running, and the cop yeah, was chasing him. Like yeah. he ain't had no business over there with no backup anyway. You know Don't the rules. Forget- it was his fault. He don't, made a mistake on his free, job. What's, don't post free this whoever that is. Like uh, he deserves to be. He deserves free my, to be there. Free my little guy, man. He's too young to be. He too young to be locked up still. Yeah. He free is. my little guy. He is. Uh, but in he all was all fifteen when he did they that. They changed he the what he active shooter protocol. So that's why dude said he stayed outside because now they changed the active shooter protocols. You're supposed to enter the facility if you got shooting going down. It used to be you're supposed to set up a perimeter. But they changed that since, like, shortly after 9-11, they started militarizing the police and stuff. So he, by all accounts, he should have went in, whether he was a trigger-happy, you feel what I'm saying, a property enforcer, which is what, you know, they are. Or, you know what I'm saying, or he was just following the active shooter protocols. They, he should have been in there because it was, like, 19 babies that got sacrificed. So, you know. Yeah, yeah it's, it's horrible. And they calling them people, which is weird. they like, they students, they're children. Like, right. like, they're reporting them as 17 people were killed. Like, that no, wasn't people, 17 man. children. Yeah, yeah. there was, that was no, the was 15, most innocent and weakest amongst us. 14 children and three 14. Fa- faculty, something like that. <laughs> it was wild. Yeah. That's crazy, man. And, you know, and I, all seriousness aside, I mean, obviously, his, his job is to serve and protect. And he Speaking didn't do of that. strap. And he's going to, uh, there has to be some type of punishment for him. I'm going to go buy this Vector. You're not buying a Vector. 1300 bro. It's $1,300. Why wouldn't I not? It's been 15 Get some ammo. I'm ready to go. Let's go. Actually, people think it's, easy. <laughs> it's uh, cheaper to buy a gun like that, but there's, like, some other things you have to get with a gun. You got to get ammunition, something to hold 1500, it. 1500 bro. A safe bit, to put it in. So a your safe kid to put doesn't it in. find it. So now it's a spray. <laughs> hey, Dad, PUBG. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you at the respawn. Nice. I want chicken dinner. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> now it's no better. Okay. All right, moving on. That was fucking hilarious to me. Too dark. <laughs> Too dark. Pull back. <laughs> PUBG. All right, so um, I don't even let him watch PUBG. <laughs> the second topic tonight is going to be uh, the the new. Is it new? The phase, the fad, the the, the diet trend. No. The keto joint. The, the keto. Keto. No. Yeah, people I've, on, people I've heard about keto, keto for the last couple of years. It is definitely the new low carb moniker, if you will. Mm-hmm. The strips and shit, all that shit, making sure you yeah. in the mode and shit. Yeah, that shit's new. Yeah, the whole going at it the at science. the molecular level. It's yeah. really weird to pee in a cup. You, so you got a cup. Yeah, I what got you, strips. You, no, I mean no. I have to pee. You got to put the strips in. You got to put the piss somewhere. I, I just pee on a strip. You just pee. You just, <laughs> <He> just <laughs> letting that, letting just, that pee splash just, on his fingers. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, I just feel you being sloppy on that one. You, man. It's just pee. It's just pee. It's just pee. It's just pee. No, don't just say it's just pee. Then it's just have me over for for a potluck. Hey, if we were wounded <laughs> just in fecal the matter. forest, we would you know we'd have to piss on that wound if we had to. Man. But we're not I wounded mean, in the forest. You're holding. The first thing I'm doing is drinking pee. Everybody. He's holding a computer. You're. We're all civilized, okay? We don't have to <laughs> pee on ourselves to get... Ben pee on his leg and putting the strip on it's it. It's just pee. 
So who, those who don't know, those who don't know, you have to pee on a strip uh, to measure your ketone levels in your body. And the, uh, the greater, more ketones, the more you're in ketosis. That's the kind of point of it. And the more you're burning your fat reserves instead so of carbohydrates. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. 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 Wait, so you literally I need to do this. pee on a strip to see how many every other day? active ketones every day. No, every, every day. day. How many active every ketones? Every day, B? Yeah, well, yes, because I mean, if it gets it too much, week, so you know how you need to you eat do. some carbs. Otherwise, shit goes cool. bad. Like so, like hold on, I need to go to the bathroom. I need to pee on the strip. Nah, yeah, I, yeah. I'm and not do it at home though. Like, it's pretty hardcore. You ain't never been fat, Marty. <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't, you, <laughs> you don't know what it's like. <laughs> Look, that's true. That's fat. true. <laughs> This is probably the heaviest I've been. I'm like 170 right now. Uh, I was 170 when I was eight, my nigga. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was 170. You like six two though. Like six, I'm six three, but still. Six three. I was 170. In six fifth grade. three. Six the three guy been in never, my life right A six now. three guy will never let you call him six two. <laughs> no, no, not at all. We, <laughs> he, he might let six four slip though. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm oh, something like six four. I'm something like it. Anyway, it's not that. I'd see me look. Listen to that. It's not that serious, like the pee on the strip. I understand you kind of want the There's best, different levels. No, I'm you're like, just trying the to. The pee on the strip. There's different levels. Just to Some, see what you need. Yeah. No. yeah, you do it for Does, a week. You pee on the strip for a week to figure out, you know, what you should take and intake. And then you should be good peeing on the strip. You know what you can do. There's three different levels of keto dieting. Mm -hmm. It's the super ultra scientific, get your doctor to help you, like fasting two days a week kind of shit. There's the at home pee on a stick level, and then there's the you just count you just count the shit, you know you, you count your calories, you count your micros, and you, you you're fine. But the super heavy people that we were at about go to like the super heavy level where they get doctors involved and mm -hmm. they actually go like they fast to kickstart the shit. Oh. Yeah, so there's different levels, but in in the end, it's really just another Atkins diet. <laughs> yeah, it's another another low carb diet. Yeah. But it's, it, this is different, though, because it's high fat, which is very un uncommon for a diet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, it stresses eating fat. and it stresses eating, eating the good shit. Meat and To cheese. be honest. Yeah. You just, you just, just no bread, really. Meat and cheese. You just can't get that fresh, I, fresh French bread. Can I live that quesadilla man. life? Can I live that life? No. no. What? No, one quesadilla would probably put you over with you. How many carbs do you lie yourself? Uh, under, I'm under, I, right now I'm under, like, 40. So that's a I lot. Heard, that's I heard, twice. I heard 50 to 100 is fine. Okay. For, for, is considered low carb. Low carb, yes. Keto, they say like fifteen, which is what that means is yeah, not, you, you eat zero carbs. You eat zero carbs throughout the day. That's your goal, and the fifteen is that incidental number. Like you had milk, and oops, that had some carbs in it. Yeah. Or you had some broccoli, and oops, that might have one carb. You know what I mean? So fifteen is like that incidental gap, but fifteen is basically zero. It's if you try, like oh, I'm gonna have one little thing. No, that's like one potato chip. You're done. No. I have ni I have nineteen grams a day. Yeah. But the low carb life, you can stay probably under a hundred, and lose weight. I think I think it's it, the, the guy that I follow, totally said about fifty to one hundred yeah. is a, yeah. you're a good range for low carb. Yeah, <coughs> it's interesting. I see how a lot of people are getting on it. A lot of people. Mm. Yeah. Even your guy that was. Uh, it's effective. Was it uh, Williams, kid from Chicago? Um, the twins, two brothers, look alike. Oh 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 oh, uh, the Evans twins. Evans Evans Chris Chris, Chris uh, yeah, he started Monday too. Mm. Yeah, so it's it's it's, it's yeah, making his rounds. Anything yeah. that works, people are gonna do, and it works. I wouldn't mind being works. a little more vascular. I'm not peeing in the cup for that. <laughs> nah, I'm I cool. pee in the cup for it. I'm cool. It's, like it does. Knowing make you... knowing me, knowing how silly and goofy I am, I done and pissed everywhere. Like <laughs> it would be well, pissed. Just, just like, pee in the like, cup, man. <laughs> that's it's like you're like holding me in the cup. Oh. cup. <laughs> exactly. Got a spray. I'm like, oh. Yeah, no, I okay. gotta start over again. Maybe no. you've peed in a cup before. It's I not, have, you know, and it wasn't very successful each time I did it. Damn, so. what are you doing? Hold it close. <laughs> are you trying to <laughs> set it on the floor and pee into it? <laughs> As he did that the first so time. Steph Curry, the cup, <laughs> niggas. I was like, oh, but no. Nah. Mm, we're going live this week. Welcome back, everybody. What up? We live. Yo. Well, Yo. moving on. Yo. This is a topic that I' gonna probably get people mad at me for. Three one four day. A hey, three one four day. Uh, three one four day. Uh, uh, three one four day. Three plus one four is eight. <laughs> well done. Yeah. Million dollar idea right there. Um. Yeah. Tell me about it. Where'd it, Where Where'd it come from? March fourteenth. Where'd it come from? I don't know. How long has it been here? It's three one four day, dog. It's, it's, it's been. Day, it's, it's been what? Who's born and raised here? I would say like people really it's celebrated. March. 14th, 314 day. I think people right. started really celebrating like five years ago. Yeah, yeah like so five, five years, years ago. Around okay. five years ago. Is it more just a music thing? 
Because it kind of feels like it's just a music. It's thing. like it's but shitty music. food. It's, it's everything like it food. Like it's St. just talking shit on your city, basically. It's like the day to hate St. Louis. It's just a day for you know St. Louis niggas be like, oh, yeah. remember Saints? Oh, remember Ventures? Hey. I think it's dumb. I think it's dumb. Why do you think it's dumb? I love it. I just don't. Cause I you're don't, a hater. I'm not a hater. I just don't understand the value of it. Says a person from Jersey. I think it's. See, I came here. He ain't even from Jersey. You came here when you were 15. Yeah, I came here when I was 16. Where'd you lose your virginity? He was about to say the palace. <laughs> no, say Where did house. you lose your virginity? At the uh, mono. <laughs> in, in, in what city? In Nickahoots. Uh, well, I don't know. In St. Louis? I don't know. So that's where you're from, nigga. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Just, so, if, so if someone goes like on their high school spring break and loses their virginity in Spain, they're from Spain. <laughs> they're from Spain. Right. You're yeah. fucking they found bro. themselves in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. When I see 314 Day, I just see... I mean, I appreciate St. Louis, but I don't know. See... It's kind of the same shit every year. It's right. fun. Like, when it, how, when will it become something different than just, remember Nelly, remember e- Emo's Pizza Guys, yeah. Van Soda? This like, when's going to be something different than that? This year, Smino got a lot of love. Like, people... Not last year. It's I didn't see Smino's face once this not, uh, 314 Day. Because the album dropped last year on 314 Day. Yeah. Because he had a listen... I remember he had a listening party at Spade, old uh, spot. Like, a surprise listening party, so... Mm-hmm. But three one he dropped yes yeah, uh the Black Swan joint three one four day last year, but like this year like people just really celebrate it's just like hey proud moment of being from St Louis like more the hip hop culture the black so it's a hip hop culture thing. it's more like I say black in the hip hop culture of St Louis like because I think white people celebrate Pi Day on that day yeah pretty much <laughs> like, that was the thing when Pi first opened it was just like oh we opened on three one four day it's Pi Day that makes and sense. Like, um, but us, but like, you know, black people and people that grew up in St. Louis and St. Louis, like we like, yo, you know, fat sodas, red hot ripplets, like, sure. yo, we all St. Louis out right now. So I was always, it's always to me, it's always been a fun day. Like I remember one year they oh, yeah, did man. a big photo it's shoot. It's like St. Louis Field Day. Art Hill. I, you know, being, um, my, my whole adult, adult life has been here, but, uh, I think St. Louis feels like it always has something to prove. <laughs> And I think it's kind of an underdog when it comes on like the national scale. Yeah, for sure. So trying to big up itself might be a self esteem thing. It's a circle jerk. It's nice. Well, it's a okay. big circle jerk. Hold on. That's what it is. It's a big circle jerk, whack, man. I didn't say it is. Getting, I'm just getting saying your pump that. on at the gym and taking a picture and circle jerk are two different things. Three one four days getting a pump, taking a picture. Right? Yeah, pump f- the only you can see. <laughs> it's, it's, no, <laughs> that no I one mean, else can see, but you. It's on Twitter. Circle like jerk. people, yeah, other, other cities have it. Other cities have it. Does this is this a physical event? This is the non-social. Oh event. no, there are physical it's, events around it now. Like there's right. like little bullshit showcases, and there's the right, uh, so state of emergency con- is, is concerts. So, you have a so negative. With us branding something for Missouri. No, I have I have no problem with it. I just I, I just want it to, you are, to evolve. Like you see Making, how successful it's the same. Is though, right, it's the same thing every year, and it's the right, same. Okay. I got that. Yeah, but you so see how Christmas. successful 420 is though, right? <laughs> Like, 420 is super successful. Yeah. Right. But I don't think 3 and 4 will ever get there to anything of relevance. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure... It's relevant about, to a lot of people. <clears throat> That's great. Southwest. But when will it evolve? And can it evolve? What, what, what does it need to evolve to? Take? More than memes of Emo's Pizzas and Vest Sodas and, I mean, and Tales of Nelly. People don't know about that. that. People the world. really love Emo's. And, and people though. really love it's it. It's trash. <laughs> I, 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 I remember three, one, for somebody that says in U City, man. I thought we did that at U City. Bro, for, that wasn't three one four day back then. Yeah, that was no, yeah, no. back in the day. I don't yeah, know what you're like talking about. Two thousand one then. Yeah, y'all on this We've back in the day it, shit. Remember the days? No, I'm just saying. As far as I think it's a good branding opportunity. If we just for, looking at it from for what? From that. So you know, you know, the same way we go to Memphis in May. You, you know who and performed in yeah. St. Louis on Three One Four Day? You know who performed in Three One Four Day in St. Louis last night? You want to know who performed last night at Three One Four? Big Baby concert? Huey. Not really. Boosie but... and Migos. See? That's cool. That's huge. That has nothing to do with 314. Hey, I, I, hey, I would we love We like to, Boosie I would love and we like Migos. To be our regional artists? Sure, I would love that. That makes sense. But unfortunately, yay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure we're they going, had we're gonna do what we can. St. Louis openers. You saw a mean? funny post today that said, hey, you 636 people need to sit down. <laughs> you what? This is 314 day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone said, like, you St. Charles people, this is, this is yeah. your, like some other days your day. <laughs> no, um, but I, I like 314 day. But I just wanted. I, I'm wondering, can it be more than what it is? Make it, it happen, man. You. I make like. It. What more you could it, it be? Like we more actually, than, we it could need end a, up be like. We really need Memphis like a really. It'd be shit. dope. We'd be a big concert festival. Cause like this year, like I said, it was Migos and Boosie. Then I remember last year, 
They had uh, Migos and Boosie. That's tight. They had like Migos, Meek Mill. Yeah, I bet. it was like a big but concert. St. Louis, they didn't bring them. them in for three one four. No, he doesn't. No, he no, he did. It was like really? it's a, it yeah. was tickets with three one four. But one hundred percent every are, year. This is the fifth year. Those are artists that okay. St. Louis motherfuckers like. Yeah, but I, I want to me. Being we don't like our artists. So well, why know, would we? Why can't we have to change though? But I'm why like, can't we have a big a big concert or a big festival with literally a St. Louis artist like uh, Corey? Uh, the homie Corey did that last year, but he ain't doing this year. But he had a little something going on. But last year he like, yo, he want to get on the show. Just send me an email. So he we he booked twenty seven twenty top and bottom. And it's nothing but St. Louis artists perform. Yeah, it was cool. Was so that was like, Did you guys go last year? Was, yeah. it, was it packed? It was packed. I was Good. Well, we need more of that. It was like he sold tickets for three, one, three, fourteen. Oh, fuck, I don't like, like I don't like St. Louis hip hop like that. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I want that to happen. Like, ain't no reason we can have like Nelly and Chingy and Smino and like Tough and oh, like yeah. all the homies perform like in a big show, or we can just do like a big, you no, know, big party. Like last night, it was a. Uh, so is Liberty. So is Liberty did a party at twenty seven twenty. It was free. It packed out. They had free right out ripplets, hmm. and people were hoping they open. People with booths open, like Adrian's here. So you had the black woman with breathing, and like a lot of artists oh, see? selling their yeah, paintings. That's cool. See people doing things. So, so um, that's cool. Revenue for the city. People coming out of their fucking house, not going to the fucking stadium for one day. Yeah, it's good for the city. All right, all right. Anything that'll get the people out there, you know what I'm saying, generating some revenue. Interacting I with mean, the community. Like I said, one, South by Southwest wasn't always what it is today. You mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? It started off with just a few bars and then, you know, it grew into something. So, excuse me. You know. All right, interesting. 314. Thank they you for your guys' take on turn that. Turn into something. <laughs> all right, all right so. Force. United Airlines. Oh, boy. Oh, what did dog. they do? Damn. How did they kill a dog? They made. Listen. Okay. This morning, Catalina Robledo is contradicting United's claims that a flight attendant didn't know her puppy named Coquito was inside a carry-on bag. Robledo had paid $200 to bring the black French bulldog on board and initially placed the dog carrier underneath the seat in front of her. But a flight attendant insisted the bag needed to go in the overhead luggage bin. This morning, Catalina Robledo... I'm sorry, sorry. So, uh, basically that's what happened. Um... Lady gets on the plane, pay two hundred dollars extra for a ticket so the dog can travel. This happens all the time. <coughs> First, the flight attendant said you got to put the dog under the seat. They did, and then she said, "Well, that's not fitting under the seat." The, the flight attendant said, "You have to move it to the top of the bin." So the lady was like, "Well, no. Can I just hold it on my lap?" And she's like, "No, that presents a, a a risk." Same thing with the dog under the seat. Like it's not staying under the seat, so like you got to move it. Um, so she insisted that it goes into the overhead bin. And the lady's like, no, that, that dog can't survive up there. That, that, that's not how this goes. I, you know, I've done this before. And the lady, the, basically the flight attendant said, I, I, I don't care. Put the dog up there. And everyone in the area heard the conversation. Some people objected, too. Like, that's not, you know, that's not smart. Right. And uh, they did it anyway. And uh, put the dog up there. Give that, that hour, bitch Michael Vick time. Three-hour flight. <laughs> the dog was barking for a little while, and then it wasn't barking. And uh, they well, opened up. Suffocated, I wonder. The, yeah, they opened up the, the, the thing when the fl- flight landed, and the dog was dead. Uh, immediately, the girl, because she had her daughter with her, screaming, bawling. Right. The mother's flipping out. Everyone's like, yeah, that's what fucking happens. Everyone's kind of freaking out, too. Wow. And the what flight a, attendant says, I want that flight attendant publicly, to get Michael Vick time. That she had no idea there was a dog in the bag. Yeah, right. I want her to get Michael Vick time. That's what I want. You know, yeah, black people don't play with them puppies, though. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of crazy, though. Like no, Everybody heard, objected? Apparently, United United has multiple, like, they kill the most dogs. Yeah, it was like <laughs> a, almost like 100 or something. Yeah, yeah. like, Jesus. they actually, this is what not the first doing? time that they killed they, dogs. It was a big number. Man, I would never fly with a dog. Get the fuck out of here. What? Yes, you get will if you have to. Get in your car and go. And then they, uh, they miss, uh, they... Delivered the wrong dog to the wrong house. They, they, yeah, Just like recently. this dog is in Japan. Like the, like dog. the dog got accidentally shipped to Japan. Like it was like a Shit. flight, and you know she had her dog, and they had, I happier. think this was supposed to be a, an area for dogs, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I um, thought when I worked at the airline, it was a different compartment. Oh really? The yeah, animal like, compartment. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but yeah, Kim and I are thinking of taking the dogs down to Florida this summer. Yeah. Getting, uh, getting a, uh, yeah, driving down to Florida, getting a, uh, what, do they, what do they call that? 
Uh, RV? What, no, man. When, when you uh, you like rent <laughs> out share? somebody's house. Kind of. Airbnb. 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 Mm-hmm. Some beachfront thing. Oh, that sounds cool. Wouldn't it be nice? You good? Dogs never seen water. Uh, well, I don't know. Why? I'm just wondering. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's cool, man. That's cool. Um. Yeah, so I guess we don't have too much to say about that topic. Just go. like that's just pretty fucked up. Give news. that bitch the right. chair. No, nah, yeah, they're gonna pass. I mean, it was like a governor on TV talking about, about to pass a law for that. Like, make sure on yeah. people dogs. Like I'm saying, you can't the Mike Vick situation. Like you don't play, white people don't play with their dogs. It's like, oh, you did that. Oh, they getting some years. Oh, they like. I want her to get Michael <laughs> Vick time. of the law. Like she better get Michael Vick time. <laughs> I mean, dogs are family. Yeah. But I mean, honestly, if it's my dog, my dog's not going up there. So no. either we can fight, you can take me off this plane, yeah, or you can let me put this dog in my me. motherfucking lap. My I, point exactly, which is why I'm pretty sure that that's just some bullshit. Sounds like a setup to me, guys. You think so? A setup. Like she a killed cat. her dog to get money. It's would you put dog. your dog in the overhead bin of it's an airport just a dog. airplane? It's just a dog. What are you talking about? You ever had a dog? You, you no, I mean, of course, yeah. I yeah. used to Later. have a spirit animal. Sorry. Of course. And I will never have another. That's why I don't entertain all these things. There's only one spirit animal for me, and she's gone. You know, praise the ancestors. Rest in peace. That was man. a good dog. Yeah, great great dog. Beautiful dog. But beyond that, all I'm saying is that... So we, how could you say just a dog? I mean, because to her. I'm not, like, in love with the animal kingdom. You know, it's a lot of kingdoms, mineral kingdom, animal kingdom. I'm not in love with the animal kingdom, all right? I was just saying. So you okay to me, kill dogs? My nigga? Like, I mean, like. I, you know that picture on the Facebook where it's got a kitten in a blender and it says you get a million dollars if you push blend? No question for this guy. I mean, yeah. No, I, seriously, seriously, I, though. The, uh, when I saw that, that was no question. I'm hit for a million dollars. Bye, kitty. Dollars, I'm killing that dog. <laughs> all I was saying I, is I'll that. I'll cut it up myself. I think I'll Julie in that fucking setup. cat. I'll, I'll bite his neck. I interrupted you. That was very rude yeah. of me. I'm sorry. No, you sorry. did good. I'm just riffing. Yeah, but now I want to talk about Trump's Space Force or something. You know, that's what I was. No, that's about that's, that's, that a, that's Force. those are not the conversations but that yeah, usually anyway. go well here because none of us are Trump supporters. So we're. I just wanted to see. It's going to be a group of people agree like, with the Space Force because I did. What that's is all. the Space Force? <laughs> he was literally about talked this. about today making a Space Force. A space like a space military. Yeah, Air Force, shit. Navy, Army, and a Space Force. I just wanted to see. Check no tech. No. No, no, no. But if you if you want a topic next time, just email it to me before we we'll, no, we'll put it into the show. Hey, I didn't know we were locked in. Ego. This, I don't we can, you can add topics, but nobody else can. That's no, we can't add topics. Oh, my God. But look, I have no right, like research on it. I have no idea mm-hmm. about too I much mean, about it. I know he said he wants a Space Force. Yeah, I just want to and, say, was it thumbs up, thumbs down? Just thumbs quick. down. Anything Trump says is, is thumbs down for oh, me. Oh, <laughs> see, yeah, that's crazy. I'm not that crazy. Really. I mean, if we're getting <laughs> invaded, yeah. Let's, let's gear up. Yeah, I definitely saved away some money on Space Force. Sorry, go ahead. Why? Oh, against who? Rocks? Like, <laughs> we gonna shoot out rocks or something? Like, actually, I mean, what are your Space Force th- actually, for? Uh, I'm a firm Thanos. believer in that some of the technologies no. that we benefit from today were derived from NASA and, te- you know, yes, technologies, rockets yes. and stuff like that. This so year. do I think that wasting a trillion dollars in the Space Force would be beneficial in some form or fashion? Yes, that's all I'm saying. We wouldn't Beyond have white bread. More shit. Like, they just built some stupid ass shit. <laughs> that's like $2 billion worth. All I'm saying is that, yeah, we don't, spend we don't $2 need billion dollars in space. I don't get yeah. Well, so so you, have you want them to waste money, them wasting on money a, in military stuff? On a military space outfit. They're going to waste it anyway. I'm just directing it. <laughs> uh, that's all I was saying. I don't want to fuck the topics up. No, 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 no. Now I'm intrigued, and I don't so, want to be an asshole for not letting you have the topic. But no. I think that's ridiculous. It's tricky because uh, there's nothing to I, force. Well, see what he's saying is there's nothing to police. Is the shit that they're trying? They're gonna try to think up. We're gonna benefit from it later. It's just right. like like cell phones. We, we have we cell spend, phones because of our trip to if the moon. If they spend another trillion dollars on computers practical of, war of technologies, we're not gonna. We can't squeeze any more fucking lucrativity out of a bullet. We've got everything out the bullet, but quite possibly, maybe they'll look with some anti-grav stuff. I mean, all I'm saying is there's endless possibilities trying to mess with low Earth orbit or, you know what I'm saying, elevators. And, <laughs> yeah, space you know, elevators. You heard of that yeah, shit? Yeah, you know, no. earth yeah. scrapers. I just found out there's such thing as earth scrapers, like the opposite of skyscrapers. Like, so I'm just saying it's yeah. just a, there's possibilities oh, of cool. wasting money that will benefit everybody. I think we should direct the waste instead of trying to pretend like it don't exist. That's Japan's like going to legitimately try to build a space elevator. You get on an elevator, shit, and it takes you to space. Not fucking with that, ever. <laughs> uh, so basically, I just think it's Trump talking out of his ass again. Of course it is. Of course it is. Like, yeah, the sci-fi in me is like, cool, space force right. to fight the aliens that, that, <laughs> that, we that, don't, that, that are never going to happen. <laughs> that, that in our life. That are ready to attack, but they won't because the space force deters them. And they, they battle out in the sky, and you can see the lasers in this. No, real talk, we could no. actually use a, uh, a team of people shooting down asteroids heading our way because 
that does actually happen quite often. Just call Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> he has a good track record. That's right. Bruce Willis. Is Shout Bruce out to Willis? Bruce Willis. Oh, yeah, and Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> was it Liv Tyler? Liv Tyler was in there. As long as she's well, in there. she was just a worthless love interest, you know. Yeah. Worthless? Was there any women on the team that went to space? No. Right. So, yeah, she was. That's how it should be, guys. She was damsel in distress. Sexism. Um, Sexism. <laughs> All right. So, does anyone know who Woe Vicky is? Unfortunately, I do. Thanks uh, to PewDiePie. No. Do not. <laughs> Missed right. it. So, you guys know who Bad Bobby is? Catch me outside. How about that? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, in, in the way this is the next evolution. In the evolution of uh, cultural misappropriation, we have uh, Whoa, Vicky. Now, Whoa, Vicky's been out for a second, um, but Ben brought it up this week because uh, PewDiePie did a video on her, and uh, you know we know that it's ridiculous and we know it's silly, um, and I have a big problem with it personally. Let me show you Everybody, guys a picture. Every, every right person you guys ever seen should. This? <laughs> no. All right, what, Straight got right, a whole So now that you've grill. seen her. Why does she could be, right? She could be from her. the south side. You don't know her. No. Let's no, listen to this. Yeah. Yes, my birthday is March 7th, but July 19th was the day I found out I was black. Like, this whole, my whole entire life, my mom kept telling me, you're white, you're white. I never believed her because I knew I was black, but... July 19th, I did some history. I went to Ancestry.com and I found out I'm 25% black. And this whole time I knew it. I knew I was a black girl. So so I just considered that to be my birthday because it's just a very exciting holiday for me. So I thought I'd celebrate. I didn't know how to celebrate, but to say it was my birthday. So that's just to clear up everything for y'all. Thank you for understanding that I am a black girl. Yeah, what the fuck is 25% black? Yes, my birthday is March 7th. Oh, uh, that's your... Um, <laughs> that's one of your grandparents. It's one of your grandparents. It's not okay. bad. Is it? Come she on. black. Nate, yeah, you, yeah. You're, letting her, one you're letting her call black. They made girl? the rules. We didn't. But and to they her said being one black, motherfucking drop. So she black. But to her, <laughs> but to her, being black is talking stupid and putting gold in her, in her mouth. Mm-mm. She thought she was black. She identified with that. That's why she got into that shit. And then she looked up on Ancestry and she said, oh, I got more than one motherfucking drop. I got 25% drop. I'm black. Out of here, I'm light-skinned. On so you're okay, you're okay with this. But you're not okay with a woman literally uh, working her ranks through the NAACP as a white woman, but identifying as black, and then actually becoming the head of a chapter of the NAACP you have a problem with that, but you have no problem with Bo Vicky. I ain't got no problem with her. I don't care about that lady. <laughs> I really do you, don't. Do you have an opinion on anything? <laughs> I don't have an opinion on that lady specifically trying to be black. I mean, she's smart. <laughs> that girl is smart? You know what? You smart. You smart. You very smart. smart. No. Smart. It's, it's embarrassing and it's misappropriate. It's my cultural misappropriation, which I have a huge problem with. What it is is poverty at its finest tech, okay? Now, as a... Divulge. It's what, Divulge. It's what is its finest? It's poverty. P- poverty. Her parents are rich. No, no, no. It's poverty is beyond our physical wealth, as you know, tech, all right? Mm-hmm. There's Hit a with poverty, that mental poverty. Hit with that in knowledge. her decision-making as what she aspires to what the top of the pyramid is to her. Now, I do have a problem with you, Ben, because she doesn't talk stupid, Ben. What? Right? What what she does? You need is to watch more than abused, one of her videos. No, yeah. I've, I've seen it. I've, you know, I've she, she's you know, dumb. I've avoided women like that in the bar all my life. <laughs> she's dumb. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She's so, faking. She didn't talk like she's that before. Faking. She thought no, she was on, quote unquote, unquote black. There's no way she talked like that before. She thought I'm I'm no, a firm believer she could in that be everybody from the has side. a mask that we all wear as representatives. And do I think this current generation is more fluid in changing their mask? Sure. And adapting it. Sure. They're a lot sure. more fixed in. Like the stuff that happened to us at 14 and 15. It locked into our personality, and like that's part of who we are. I don't per se think the epigenetics of this generation is then locked in like that. I, I'm a firm believer in that she is manifesting her black identity, you know, just like everybody else is manifesting their identity even before they physically have it. Like, you know what I'm saying, the other, you know, trans, you know what I'm saying, trans units in, <laughs> in, in human bodies. <laughs> you know, they, they got all kind of different ideas, like 64 sexes or something, right? Isn't that like 68? I have no idea. I've Dude, never, like never heard a number like that. Identifications. I seen that one time on, on the news. 
But like, look, long story short, I was going to say that I think the young lady has a poverty mindset. It's very easy to exploit that in America because hip hop is associated with, you see what I'm saying, the bottom rising to the top. Why? I think that she abuses hip hop. Hip hop is just like the gateway drug for her to even act like that. They stand in hip hop shows. You, We all seen it. I just seen it when Trackstar came to town. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the whole front of the row and show is just a whole different culture than what's represented on the stage. And it's not a problem because we meet in that area of hip hop. That's where we can exchange ideas and you know learn about each other. You know what I'm saying? It, that's high that's school, sharing a common interest. Yeah, that's I not. Think, they're not up on that yeah, stage saying they're something different than what they are. I mean, a lot of them are. Right, let's, let's be real. No, see, you know, but, this is, all, yeah. I, all I all I've heard so far was excuses for this behavior. No, I'm not excuses. I mean, it's, it's just excusing the, the behavior. I mean, it's excusing the behavior. It's not excusing. What is she doing? I just don't, is she hurting someone? I'm let Marty say. She's embarrassing black people. That is, that is that is her is that she? is her image of black people. Sorry, She's perpetrating it in a, in a foolish sure. way, She's and it's making her famous and rich. I don't that's think the poor and black yeah. Is anonymous. That's what I don't think. Because it's some it's some white girls that sound like She's that. In, right now, She's literally outside, saying, that's who I'm they are. a black woman." Because she thinks that black. People she looked are poor. up on a thing. She already identified with black people. Okay, like that's. That's her identity. She like like I'm like I hang with a bunch of black girls and I talk like them, and maybe she, I she live was around surrounded them. by black women and in a, almost every video. And I live around them, so that's who I identify with in the first she's place. Not, she's not hold up, though, hold up, though, hold up, though, hold up, though. And then <laughs> I look up on Ancestry and I got twenty five percent. I'm lit, yeah. No, I'm black. Both her parents is, as white as Ben. I'm 25 percent Italian. If as an Italian driven, motherfuckers just hung out with me all snow. the time, I would start calling myself That's Italian. A, maybe. Honestly, for real, like I'm disappointed in in you for real, because like this is coon shit. To accept it question. is coon shit. Do you believe in epigenetics to the point where that uh, other generations of um, let's say white people, all right, that fed off of black breast milk all throughout slavery? And they had interracial, you know, saying raping, and they, they we have we everything is mixed up. It's a melting pot in America. So all I'm saying is that once we add psychology to it, and we start letting people identify with attack helicopters and they pass life. What the fuck are you even talking about? I'm telling you, there are people out here on the internet to say I identify as a, a, a attack helicopter. You see what I'm saying? It's 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 an uh, it's a, it's a rabbit hole. You can be a table. You see what I'm saying? I'm just saying it's a rabbit hole of what people identify right. with, and this is at the least. Wait wait till Ready Player One comes out. Once people really start to identify with avatars versus <sighs> who they really are, this is an avatar. Now she's chose. I think she's chosen to make black people and justification poor people synonymous. of misappropriation of our culture is coon shit. Hey man, she's you that's know all I'm gonna say about it. All I'm gonna say about that. She's, we gotta move on. She's for the game. Man. People she's turn themselves into avatar on Facebook every day. All right, we gotta move on, Marty. That ain't they lives. You have any thoughts? Um, let her ride, man. I don't like it. I'm I'm, I'm leaving this podcast I don't like it. with just... opinions changed. On YouTube. <laughs> no, the whole point. That's Should, not, shouldn't we talk about Bruno Mars then, if we're talking about cultural appropriation? I don't nah, think we, I don't he's brown. appropriating culture nah, at he's all. Not, he's, he's black. He's brown. He's black. He, yeah. She's saying she's twenty five percent. So give her her shot. Just like you give Bruno Mars his shot. <laughs> yeah, Bruno Mars Bruno has contributed black, a lot to society. <laughs> Man, you know every, with every moment, if you I'm listen to this girl rap, you'd be like, "Stop." For you, ain't Bruno Mars Asian? No, he's no, Filipino. Uh, Filipino and what's the what the fuck is Filipino? He's not saying he's anything else. He's just making music. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck are you even talking about? <laughs> All right, moving we on. Know I gotta, what he's I gotta, we gotta move on. <laughs> we know what he's saying. We gotta move on. We gotta move on. <laughs> <laughs> he's not stealing. He's not stealing black people music. Uh, number six. They making money off of number six. No, he's, no, he's not. El- like Elvis, that yes. Bruno Mars, no. He Filipino. They don't fuck with nah, us either. Makes, I think he's Filipino. Fuck out of here. Filipino. Yeah. Like Walking this to is a the Filipino greatest, bitch house. This is the greatest 60 minute shit show reach steal something anyway. <laughs> that we've ever had. This reach right you're doing right now, I'm not you're going to hurt your arm. I'm not reaching. reaching. Uh, Michael Jordan is Space Jam. <laughs> this, is, this is a ridiculous reach. <laughs> she got 25% Mr. Fantastic in over there. She got 25% in her. All right, Mr. Fantastic. That's what she is. All right, Reed Richards over here. All right. Um, <laughs> speaking of Reed Richards... <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with the MCU, but uh, if any of the war predictions, we got to go through fast because we're almost we're getting close to time. Um, so I, I just number six topic is the Infinity War predictions. Who do you think dies? What is Thanos after? Where is the Soul Stone? 
Go, Ben. We know what Thanos is after. Uh, my weird analytical brain is let's look at who's trying to get out of the MCU, see whose contract is up, and they're probably going to be the one that dies. And that's the case. Iron Man's going to die. <laughs> right. Uh, but they've been setting him up for a while. He's been sort of like the, the, the pin cushion of the series. Like, everybody's been blaming him for everything. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Hawkeye and Iron Man. Because they've been trying. I feel like they try to get Hawkeye up out of there. Well, they got. he's the only one with the family. <laughs> yeah, like, so, they made him human. So, like, yeah. He's definitely going to um, die. But what's uh, the guy in charge? I don't think it was Feige. It might have been Feige. He said that if, if they if they die in the MCU, they're dead forever. It's not that comic book shit where the, uh, maybe a new actor yeah, will come gonna. around. No. Whoever's dying in this movie is gone as far as the MCU is concerned. Just We're not going to see another Iron Man movie, but I don't think he's going to get killed off this, this year. He makes too no, much we, money for them. We won't see Tony Stark's in an Iron Man movie. I don't understand what Thanos is doing because we don't have any th- motivation factor from Thanos. Not he yet. went to Asgard no. to get the gauntlet. Said, I guess I got to do it my way or whatever, whatever he said. And we don't know why he didn't, he'll he didn't come go back. to Asgard to get the gauntlet. The gauntlet in Asgard was fake. But there was a scene where the door opens and he puts his hand that, in. That, it was wasn't As- that wasn't Asgard. As uh, Hela walked through uh, the that, she that cave, she was like, "That's a fake," and left it over. I thought, I, I, and because that was yeah. actually a, a, a left hand, and the actual glove is right hand, or one or the other. I don't know which one, but it was the wrong hand. But yeah. he had the uh, one. Th- he had it, something down there. He had a uh, cube or some shit. The tesseract. 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 That's so the which one. Got the tesseract. That's not the soul stone. That's the uh, mind stone. Yeah, it's, well, yeah, one of the stones, though. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's that's he, probably, he went there. He went to Asgard to get the tesseract. That's why the ship no, actually, ended up at the end of Thor. He, yeah, well, he's going to intersect. Uh, so you think they took the Thor. tesseract with him? Yeah, on the Loki, ship? 100%. When Loki was running through, did you guys see Thor Ragnarok? Mm-hmm. Have you seen it? No, do you care? You don't. Yeah, I don't. Um, <laughs> when, when Loki was going to get the internal flame, he, he looked at the tesseract down. and like there was a moment. You yeah. know, he took it. Right. He's a thief. Um, He's a dirty sneak. Yeah, dirty. He, he sneak. took that shit. He did that shit. Well, as I one of the f- only people I think that has watched the animated series Marvel Avengers Assemble, the last season. Mm-hmm. Anybody watched that? No. no. All Proceed. right. So right there at that point, uh, Iron Man is like wrapped up in some kind of pocket dimension. He's gone. Uh, Black Panther in. Captain Marvel is that old girl name? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're running the team, and then they bring on Miss Marvel, which is like the teenager Latino uh, chick uh, with the stretching kind of abilities. Uh, she's somewhat she, like Reed Richards. She's Middle Eastern now. Yeah. Uh, so Kamala anyway, they, they reshuffled the whole team. So I th- I'm a firm believer in yeah, they either going like, or something. Like either kill him off or Cap. You know what I'm saying? They're going to no, take Cap, Cap. I don't think Cap is going to go anywhere. Think? No, I don't think so. He's Cap's too young. Gone. And he too late. He likes to. Cap died in the comics. Right. No, nah, they're not gonna. They're not gonna kill Cap. They can get rid of Scarlet Witch. I don't think she plays a very vital role. They've already gotten rid of her brother. I don't think they're gonna do anything with her I thought, powers. Her yeah. powers are too. Uh, I thought her being around would been an, an excellent use of. Uh, you know, she like turned off all the mutants and then turned them all back on. Yeah, that's just. Yeah. That'd have been a great way to bring in all the X Men and shit. Just to say like Scarlet Witch like woke up all mm-hmm. these extra mutants. I thought that would have been cool. It would be interesting you know if. I mean? Yeah. If Thanos, uh, according, uh, if, yeah. if you guys have read the comic books, uh, Thanos' motivation was death. He was trying to to court death, right. the 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 female uh, embodiment of death. Um, and it'll be kind of cool. She's a skeleton if, with boobs, by the way. Yeah, she she mm. she became a woman. Okay, black dark haired woman. <laughs> um, that's not, that's not Thor's sister. No, no. That's the thing. It would be cool if it was. Yeah, it was. It'd be cool if. Oh yeah, that would be. Um, mm-hmm. the, what was the guy's name with the eternal and flame? Get to see her if he didn't kill her, Satter or something like that. Yeah, like she just like, and he's trying to win her heart by doing this. That would be dope as fuck. That would really be good. Yes, it would. <laughs> yep. Um. So and of course he has to come to Wakanda for the Soul Stone. Yeah, I think the Soul Stone's in Which Wakanda. Probably in the meteorite. Sure. Yeah, it's purple. So and that's why it's uh they can go to the astral plane when they because it's it's buried near there. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Nice. Heart shaped uh, herb and Heart-shaped all that. Heart shaped herb that grow. Yeah. Um, all right. Moving on. Science facts. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say goodbye to my Instagram people. I don't think they're hanging out anyway. Third Thanks. thumb Peace. prosthetic. <laughs> yeah, that shit's weird, isn't it? It is. It's a fucking wild man. Yeah. I just seen what? That shit. Third that, thumb prosthetic. It's a thumb over this, here. Yeah. So you can like extra grab. Ooh, shit. I like that. I yeah. do that. Oh, like, could you some imagine the fucking? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Surround okay. sound. For, For those of you who are not yeah. nude comments uh-huh. are being made in gestures. He made a, it. He made a jerky motion. <laughs> what if that was like Any the, sound effects? What if that was a new thing like <laughs> hookers <laughs> had to have to make money as like an escort in Vegas? Like you gotta have this third thumb prosthetic, baby girl. You gotta go pay for that. <laughs> if you, if you wanna make the big you want to make the big bucks? Little, little rub and tug business. First, 
first, rub and tug. A three second, a three second moment of silence for Stephen Hawking. Mr. Stephen Hawking. Oh, what? Yeah. Don't tell me that. Died on Pi Day. Three one four. You gotta be kidding yeah, me. Yeah, you did, died well, seventy six wow. years old. You are really disconnected from the world. Yeah. <laughs> Check really, out this dude. I really so it's, be, I'm anti internet. If you read his name, it's I'm about that. Stephen Hawking. C H C B E F R S F R S A. That's all the shit. Like most people say, PhD, MD, mm-hmm. whatever, right? So it's first one is uh, Order of the Companions of Honor, uh, Commander of the Order of the British Empire, Fellow of the Royal Society, and Fellow of the Royal Society of the Arts. Fucking G. Smartest man, probably smartest man in the world at that, With at that time. Early diagnosis of ALS. That's Chris's, like that uh, is item. he's literally the embodiment of you can do anything you put your mind to. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. understand this man had ALS for a for a long time. Long time. And understand that like he had a surgery, uh tracheotomy, and he couldn't talk after yep. that. Yep. And he's and still had a fucking sense of humor. <laughs> he would make jokes about running people over with his wheelchair, <laughs> running over people's foot. Yeah. Like and on top of that, neuroscience genius. Yep, crazy. Yep, insane. So most somebody that know someone about, most we know about black holes is because of him. Yeah, someone like that dude. Yeah, fucking rest in peace, man. Like goddamn. Uh, yeah, I just watched his interview on uh, Star Talk. It was a really good one. He checked that out with Neil deGrasse. Oh wow, damn. It's like some old stuff, but it was. Cool. Yeah, I gotta tell Chris that shit. He's gonna be hurt, man. Oh yeah. Uh, we've had the warmest weather in the Arctic this year, by the way. Cool. Uh, this is 2017 or whatever. It's officially the warmest uh, year on record for the Arctic. It's terrible. Oh, awesome. Uh, yeah. It's a five Turn degree, St. Louis into L.A. Five degree difference. <laughs> so I looked up a map of what the world would look like if the ice caps melted, and St. Louis turns into a big old bay. It stops, I don't know, stops somewhere in the middle of the city somewhere, but it's a big old, like, well, all of a sudden, That's why they're buying all that property. Like, like, like you ever been to Seattle? There. Like a bay. You ever mm. been to Boston or whatever, Maryland? Yeah, I see yeah, the way bay. the city grew, and they know what's going on. <laughs> Polar vortex. Yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, and like, finally, go to the beach in your city. <laughs> like, that's right. right. <laughs> that's gonna take a couple hundred years for that to be anything but a big ass dump. I think. Well, by the way, by the time that happens, the world's gone, man. Everything crumbles at that point. Don't yeah. you think? You think well, we able to recover from that? Nah, nope. nah, nah. The world will take care of itself, man. I mean, we're pretty it's adaptable. It's gonna rebuild this shit. That's the that's the cool part about Interstellar, the movie, because like that could possibly yeah. happen. That that that's more realistic of happening first for us. Where we're like that something just changes Godzilla. and we fucking figure everything out. We have to like, oh shit! The right Netflix now. Godzilla get into some shit about that because they leave the planet because Godzilla is just too much for the planet. Wow! And then they come back and like the atmosphere and shit has changed. Oh yeah, I watched that. That shit was wild. Yeah, it was. The behind the story of that shit and is a, wild. And it's, and it's a, uh, it is a little trick at the end, uh, you know. Yeah, that yeah, shit. Which it seemed because I thought it was gonna end whack, and then it's like, oh, they threw a little something in there. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, okay, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. Scientists have discovered what may be the first signal put off from the Big Bang. Yeah, well, that's... A radio wave. That's absolutely... Um, like, it, if it's something... If a Big Bang happened 600 million light years away, that means we haven't seen it yet. Because uh, we haven't been on this planet 600 million years. Right. So they predict that something like that is going to happen. We'll, we'll actually finally see a flash of some crazy magnitude that we don't know will happen. Cosmic rays, all kinds of shit can happen. But it's because it happened, but it happened in the past. Yeah. Um, but it hasn't caught up to us yet. So like when you see a star dying and it's 100 light years away, that happened 100 years ago. Right. And that's kind of insane. Yeah, when you look out to the sky, that's the, you're looking at the past. Time travel is completely possible. It's just not on in this way, earth. Yeah. Real that's quick, what, I, I always because that's a fly ass concept, and I was halfway studying that this uh, prof called Gagut, G A G U T, God Almighty's Grand Unifying Theorem, and it brings together quantum physics, African cosmology, and the Bible story of Genesis, and it really kind of addresses that too. Hmm. And it's called Gagut, G A G U T, God Almighty's Grand Unifying Theorem. Almost got a, a Nobel Prize in like the early nineties. Damn, nice. All that knowledge, and you still let your your Bo Vicky pass. <laughs> all, all that. With this wisdom, I'm a fool. <laughs> Astronomers specifically discovered a twist of light called primordial B mode polarization. What the fuck is that? This refers to the swirling effect that enormous gravitational waves had on photons that escaped from the Big Bang, and serves as a proof that those gravitational waves actually exist. As far as understanding the origins of the universe yeah. goes, this is a very, very big deal. Some say that finding this is up there with the discovery of the Higgs boson back in 2012, a.k.a. the God particle. Mm. Yeah. 
So mm. I feel like, you know, we teach people every week, you know, and, uh, and most of this country's problem is due to scientific illiteracy. That's is probably it, what I, is it? Yes, yeah. I think this country's kind of dumb. So uh, no offense, y'all, but uh, not our glorious listeners. They're all brilliant. Yes, my birthday is March. <laughs> I, I'm black. Uh, so I would like to, you know, share what's happening in the world outside of, you know, MCU and dumb white chicks. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right, so let's go to quick hits because we're running out of time. And I have one. I'm gonna start about talk with start with movies it's and have dumb. Willie. I got pissed off tonight, and I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> I was watching um, the Power Ranger movie. It's on. <laughs> it's on Hulu. It's good. It's on Hulu. And uh, I shut it off, and I refuse to watch it. It's on Hulu. It's on Hulu. That's Damn. how bad it is. Wow, because the Black Ranger. Yep, I knew it. Goddamn bullshit! Uh, I, first battle, the first motherfucking. Uh, you guys plan on watching it? Uh, yeah, but I, who I'll cares? watch it. Like, you, they died. Ruin it for me. They, they kill killed him? the Black Ranger. The Black guy. He's not even the Black Ranger. Wait. This is the black, the only black guy on the team. You have a problem the first with that. battle. Wait, they didn't make the black guy the Black Ranger. No, nope. there's another black no, person. No. Why one. not? That was too cliche. There's another black person. Yeah, the Asian, that's history. The, the Asian isn't the Yellow no, Ranger. No, but they made him the Blue Ranger because his character was associated with that emotionally. You know, each Ranger is representing a certain type of. You know, what I thought saying? the Blue Ranger was a science, the nerdy guy. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, he is. Which is why he was sacrificed because you know they they showing him in a messiah <laughs> complex. So they race. To be the, the Jesus figure of the first, team. So the they race, first they battle, race my G. Okay, first on, you do understand he's the linchpin of the movie. His father was the one that put him on the path. He found the stones. He brought everybody but together. But why kill because him? Because there is a Messiah complex where he dies, is risen again, which is the story of a star in a set. Oh, first you need to finish African the movie. I Googled, and Does he come it back? didn't say that he comes back. Does he come back? Of course he comes back. It's Damn, Power we Rangers. need to finish the movie. Okay. Oh, uh, so, yeah, I'm just, oh, my God. I got, I got pissed off. I bet most movie critics finish their movies um, when they watch them. <laughs> our man said, what's what's our boy name? Worked at the comic book. Uh, Fleet? Fleet. Fleet said it was four suplexes, so it was a four-star movie. <laughs> and I agree with him. It's four suplexes in that movie. Therefore, it's good. Our boy Fleet's obsessed with suplexes. I did Google. Suplexes are the most amazing move ever, duh. Thor suplexed that fucking wolf in Don't Ragnarok. Know. Yes. And it was dope as fuck. Was it Thor or was it Hulk? Hulk did, I mean. Yeah. yeah. Uh, movies. What else? What, what's going on? Uh, I, I'm really excited about that trailer that came out, though, about Lakeith David. Or Lakeith Stan, Stanton. St- yeah, Dude, uh, from Atlanta. Yeah, Sorry from Atlanta. With you. Tisa Thompson oh. is in the movie too. Yeah. She yeah, was yeah, the girl. Yeah, that was super fire. It's yep. called Sorry to Bother You. Yeah. Sorry to Bother You. That trailer was amazing. It looked amazing. It was yeah, good. That's super fire. Oh boy, uh, David Cross is his white voice. That guy's hilarious. Yep, David Cross. Infinity is War trailer comes out tomorrow. FYI. Oh man. Oh. They did a tra- yeah. they did a teaser March trailer today, mm-hmm. but there's gonna be a big trailer tomorrow. So, mm. are you gonna watch it? Yeah. You know you're not gonna want to see it. The trailer's just gonna. I want to watch it. I mean, I am too. I watched the first trailer. I don't watch the. I six trailer. Yeah. I don't watch the trailer. I mean, I just I want to see. I just it's gonna be the longest Marvel movie. I just want to see what they got. I just want to see what's going on. on I want movie. I want a little bit more. Like I don't. You know, most trailers give too much. Right. I I want a little bit more. Give me a little taste. You, know, you haven't seen enough yet. Yeah. And then you know it's that point of no return though. You're like, oh, I've seen too much. <laughs> what movie was that? <laughs> I, quick, I just saw. Fucking like, Spider Man told the whole story. <laughs> The, the fire yeah. shit that came out on Netflix was these animes. They've been dropping some super fire-ass yeah, anime. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Netflix is taking over comedy and anime. <laughs> and then I was arguing with somebody because I just had to order Meteor Man. Maybe this is a topic for next time. But Meteor Man is better than Black Panther. I just want to Jesus, go get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and all right, I take that. Oh. As an Afrofuturist, I say that. Be, well, Vicky, so you're done. So right. Your opinion is done 50, for me. If not 51, Your opinion is dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> Meteor Man Tracy, good. Meteor Man. That whole movie came from a Eddie Griffin joke. That's Eddie awesome. Griffin was just like, he had he told a joke to Robert Townsend. He said, don't tell that joke no more. And he was making awesome. a movie. <laughs> Robert like, Townsend does not get the credit he deserves. Yeah, yeah that's, he was that's why I'm saying Meteor Real visionary. Man Meteor Man was good, Panther. though, get man. Get the fuck out of here. But going I'm going to have to re-watch Meteor Man. Are you just right now? Because you're high, cast? you're disagreeing with everything he says because he's high no. too. You guys no. have like a high connection no. right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all it black cast. A weed, black weed action. It is. It's, it's good all acting. Black. It's all black. It's black great characters. What are you talking home, about? Uh, copyrighted. It's not even from a black idea. It's whole. Copywritten. You, but you see what I'm saying? I'm so passionate about it because I had to win on this. Like this is a conversation from another oh, day. Man. But Meteor Man, by its own, by our own standards today of what we say we're looking for. It's a, a better and it's a classic 
And then maybe that's something to be thought about at a later time and day. I'm that's not right. ready to say it's better, but I'm ready to watch it again. I say it better to be devil's advocate. If, if yeah, Siraj says definitely. some dumb shit like this, like... <laughs> he's smoking that special. <laughs> Let's jump off the roof face first. <laughs> I mean, and like, you know, you I'm not saying I'm not gonna jump off the roof, but <laughs> just think about I that. might. I'm thinking about jumping off the roof face first. Did that movie not like <laughs> influence here, fashion? Ben no, Don't, at the time, did it not? No, ben did it? Seen Meteor, come man. on, Tech hasn't seen Dark City. How about that? Mm. What the fuck is Dark City? That's what I'm saying. And why should I give a fuck about Dark I can't City? Even listen, to it. Dark City is where they stole the Matrix from. Oh shit! So you saying you don't even understand where the Matrix really comes from? Who said that? I know. I first Third of all, Eye. black women wrote the Matrix. Third Eye is where they stole the script and the in the book from. But Dark City is where they stole a lot of aesthetics, the feel, mm -hmm. the production, all of that. Dark City is what you need to be checking out. Dark City's out. dope. But you, got, are you guys holding hands. You seen, you seen uh, <laughs> on the table? <laughs> Have you seen uh, Equilibrium? No, the, that was horrible though. That was it's horrible. Not, that it's was not, horrible. It's not it had, good. The, it was, the, it was right, good it's in the beginning good. and good at the end. It's, it's pretty not cheesy. good. But if we watch it before we play PUBG, I guarantee we will fucking get a chicken dinner. <laughs> we almost we almost got chicken dinner tonight. Man, me and Tech, we almost got chicken me dinner tonight. Tech, we went crazy. We laid some niggas bro. down. <laughs> nice. Pause. That feels like, so good when you do that. Pause. <laughs> feels so good. Pause. The motherfuckers in the house. <laughs> we came from the back. They even know it was if coming. The cats in the Pause. House. Pause. <laughs> Shot them all in the face. <laughs> <laughs> too far. Too far. If the cats didn't have that house in the middle. We would have ruined them. The, the only reason they won this game is because they just they so happened to be down in the, in the, inside of a house, and the circle basically just closed in on that house. Me, Tech, and Christy were number two the other day, and the only reason we lost is because the other team that won was on the top of a hill. Top of a hill. And in order to escape the blue, we had to run towards them. <laughs> yep. But they, so had, they the only had the, reason. They had the high ground, Anakin. It's what you, what you can't do. win. Yep. All right, well, uh, okay, real quick. Games we are over. over. Oh, we're over. We're over. It's Games, go. go. What you playing? <laughs> PUBG. What you playing? <laughs> PUBG. You don't play. Yo, don't. you got a Rick and Morty Monopoly, Monopoly board. Rick, That's lit. Rick and Morty Monopoly is what I'm playing. Yeah, we had people on Facebook wanting to talk about uh, PUBG versus Fortnite. Fortnite. Um, Fortnite now is the officially with most played game right now on the internet. Fortnite's fun. I like Fortnite a well, lot. Do you play games, Marty? Yeah, systems. I play games. Um, I'm in the arcades at the uh, Arcade 2720. Yeah, dope. That's awesome. So we just uh, installed Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Ooh, one of the oh, Japanese cabinets. Nice. So I would love to see down there and um, somebody's a game ass. room. With you guys gonna have competitions with console games? That would um, be really the only thing we have they had Super Smash Brothers on sixty four yeah. every Wednesday. <laughs> but um, some stuff changing, so yeah. there will be some low key, will be some arcades at Blank Space in like the future. That, so oh cool, Dope. little collab. I don't know, that's like the start out yet. Oh, same owner. Yeah. <laughs> <That's laughs> but awesome. it's, not, it's out. But anyway, yeah. So Wednesday nights, twenty seven twenty upstairs arcade, free to come in. Most most games are twenty five cents. So that's all I played. And we got like every video game in the nineties. Mm. So we got that like five hundreds, like five hundred six hundred or seven hundred arcades. Really? And like the Japanese cabinets. Dope. Yeah. So Dope. Um, Oh yeah, cool. And you can switch to the games on some cabinets or is Yeah, we're gonna switch like... it for you, but like Dope. every every Street Fighter, from the first one to the three. Yeah. We need to go back up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. been a while. We haven't been up there in a while. We're just gonna kick it next going Wednesday. Up there. Next quick, Wednesday. Quick news Let's flash. Go. Uh oh, it's my birthday next Wednesday. Hey! Hey! I just thought about that. Ain't it? Let's go. How do you come ask him? Asking me. Hi. It's the 21st, right? <laughs> 21st. That's yeah, Wednesday. It's, yeah, it's, it's yeah. first day of spring. Equinox. So, uh, Drake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pisces, yes, Aries. Yes, yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That damn near broke Twitch. Drake played Fortnite with an uh, old school Twitcher named Ninja. Ninja made 1,400 subscriptions that night and is now making $400,000 a month on subscriptions because he played with Drake. 630,000 concurrent viewers. Which means at the same time, 630,000 people watch Twitch, which is the most. Damn near tripled, double to tripled the most in Twitch history. Which yeah. is why old girl Drizzy. can do what she can do and why Ready Player One will authenticate why she is in a poverty mindset and her avatar is always winning. Break it down. I mean, I guess. Yeah. All right. It's an uh, avatar, Tech. It's just an avatar. It's so, not real. But that's, that's amazing. Your black identity is an avatar to this dumb Go watch Dark City. It's not real. She's not black. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Marty. <laughs> that's that's, it. that's it. That's it. That's literally it. That's she's it. She's a cult. Name of this episode, she's not black. She's not black. She's not black. Yeah, but that's a, that's amazing she's news. She's 25% uh, black. Like, yeah, NFL players it. came on a Twitch feed. Uh, Travis Scott hopped on a, on a Twitch feed. It was like Can you imagine just being an on insane, the, insane event. Can you imagine on, being on that Fortnite team and witnessing this influx of popularity, activity? I wonder if Drake was any good. 
I don't know. Hey, I saw uh, Chandler. I no, played it yet. Biggs, Chandler hand, handling. What's the fucking? What's uh, Carl's name? I Chandler saw, Riggs. Chandler Riggs. I saw him play uh, PUBG that day. He's pretty good. Yeah. He was jumping on rooftops and he's oh, good, man. And he was playing silent because he was in an interview, so he's playing silent and it was great. Good. Yeah. Where did my sound go? Lupe right is good at Street Fighter. Oh, he's fine. He's headphones. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, music. Real quick. Real super quick. Music. I got nothing. Nothing. FKJ. Okay. Uh, I'm That's rocking out with that new common group, uh, August Green, that he made with Robert Glasper. They did a cool little NPR Tiny Desk concert. I like and those concerts. I was rocking out to that new B.O.B. Uh, I don't know. Back. It's new to me, that that last B.O.B. project. And then, uh, I don't know, it was it was something else, too. But, uh, yeah, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, it was a bunch of cool soundtracks. I'll be just looking up soundtracks for these movies. There'd be a lot of fire I, soundtracks. I think Nate has changed my opinion on how I listen to rap. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I was playing this verse from this guy, Ritz. And I like Ritz a lot. I think he's an ex- exceptional rapper. And he said, if he spit this verse to you right now, you know we would laugh. <laughs> and I thought about that. There you go. I was like, that's kind of true. Yep. So if, if, if you can hear a verse on a song, no matter where you are, and if that person is in front of you and just going to spit it to you like on, on some cypher shit, how would you react to that? Yeah. And that's to be the litmus if it's good or not. Mm. I thought it was a very interesting way of listening to music. What if it's a Yeah, if if like the the verse that in in in, in question was a story verse. Uh-huh. And it, when he said it like if he was in front of you rapping this, you'd probably fucking laugh. I kind of thought about it, like I might. Like it, that wouldn't exactly be hot, but it, I mean obviously it's a different context, different it translates differently it's with just music. The flow wasn't that good. Like this is an interesting uh, well, way. I just I thought that was an interesting way of good. listening. I'm not to saying music. that he's not a good rapper, he is, but the flow wasn't that good, and if we heard that verse, and he just, we, a motherfucker's in a cypher, and he spit that verse, motherfucker's going to turn around and laugh. But then like, at the same time, I mean, I, I do think that's an interesting way of listening to music, but at the same time, though, like, that could be almost anybody who makes music. Yeah. I got something I want to say that tickled me, but if Marty's got music, I want to hear it from Marty first. Music on my end, uh, Smino just dropped a new song with Sango. So I listen, yeah. a, lot, I listen a lot of Sango. Sango's um, dope. Sango's very dope. I'm like one of them sound people that listen to SoundCloud that get lost in SoundCloud. Me too. They're like listen to Soul Lection, Soul Etiquette. That's pretty much. I listen to a lot of playlists and like mix shows and house music, deep house. Um, I love house. Besides, I always listen to the homies all day. Cool. Los Angeles rap. Uh, it was leaked the other day, not leaked, whatever official that Herbie Canco- Hancock's new album will feature Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar, Flying Lotus, Thundercat, uh, Jay Z, uh, not Jay Z, uh, Snoop Dogg. And as some of his old, some of his old uh, partners from like the Miles Davis quintet stuff like Good that. That's crazy. You, that's Herbie. cool. Isn't that fucking great? Uh, I won't listen to it. But that's cool. Hancock. And it's yeah. it's gonna be produced by Terrence Martin Why that did uh, Kendrick's to, to Pimp a Butterfly and uh, Untitled. And... He hasn't even seen Dark City, man. Yeah. <laughs> I got here. So. All right, uh, Tech Supreme at Tech Supreme on all my social media. I'm doing stuff. What you got? At Sketch Sawyer, I'm also doing stuff. Art all day and gym selfie. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey Nate, I'm taking pictures of coffee. <laughs> no, you're not. You're taking pictures of yourself. And Every myself. single. This dude hasn't paid post. attention to the road <laughs> in six years. <laughs> We're gonna see when did Snapchat come out? What That's the want? last time they <laughs> watched the road when he Let drove somewhere. One hundred percent. I'm an excellent driver. Dude, yeah, you, sure. Listen, I can't wait to watch <laughs> you've your. You've been in the car with me. Someone, I hope I don't watch your death on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> it's never hey, y'all, you need to start paying. Oh my god. <laughs> It's funny because it's true. No, uh, I'm a great driver. This bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anyone post more selfies and more video selfies and more bathtub selfies. Like it's so much selfies. It's so much. You don't have and to look at my page though. I'm, I'm not the one who brought it. Someone brought it to me. Like this nigga Nate. <laughs> All he does. <laughs> You know, I love my. That's just that's just to let you know when to not go on the road. Yeah, like, Nate's yeah. out there. Just <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just took your crown, man. You were selfie king a few years ago. Yeah. Well, no, and I, I swear he was bitching about it a few years ago yeah, too. We all were. He had four hundred. It's not shit. selfies. Yes, yeah, they are. <laughs> Self- selfie videos, my nigga. The Come vlogging on, or whatever. It's me listening to music. So, Raj, what you got going on? You pass uh, it, letting, letting white girls call themselves black around you. Yeah. <laughs> you letting white girls say the N word around you, bro. Hey, I'm sorry <laughs> if I'm from the future. Okay? Hey. Uh, for real, for real. The first thing I thought of is those girls around her are most of the problem. They should have spoke up. They were the enablers. 
they are giving the bottle to the alcoholic. If no, you no, 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 no. Wave, tech. You're part of the wave. That's what's killing me. You're so you really want a you want a whole wave of white people calling themselves black? I think That's if the they want that identity in this American political structure, doesn't that wash what's black? Doesn't that like water water everything down? Well, obviously, I'm a firm believer in the African diaspora, so you can have this American black shit. You can have that. We can kill Monger all the crowns. I gives no fuck about that. I really don't. In you, the let, future, you, let, you let white people say N word around you, don't don't you? Do I let white? I don't even have enough time with you know <laughs> white people to say anything. Like ben is like the white person I've been with this week. That's what I'm. You're not gonna hear it from me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We've settled this. So I mean, but yeah, yeah doesn't I, even I, enter I, my I thoughts. I'm just saying, no, I'm a firm believer in that man because African yeah, Americans is going their way out. Yeah. The <laughs> Like that's, that's it's over for that. Man, right. I had one in my I head would, the other day that was so funny, and I, I would just, love. I can never. It was hilarious. For the day that tech makes Ben mad enough to call him a nigga. Oh, if I did right now, it's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> We've been mad enough. Yeah, eternally. What's you got going on? Uh, I don't know, Marty. I D U N N O Marty on my social medias. Um, I don't know, Marty. <laughs> exactly. I don't know, Marty. I don't know, Marty. Uh, next Friday at the Lou Mary. It's on Cherokee Street doing the uh, show. Okay. Um, Poetic Justice every last Sunday. Um, got a lot of doing a workshop at the Central Library on a Hip Hop Week. Hmm. Yeah. So come Dope. through. Got a lot of b boy stuff. A lot of stand up, open mics, uh, poetry, rapping, all that cool stuff. So. Cool. Good man. It's good to have you on, man. Thank yeah, you. Man. Hey, thank you for having me, man. I appreciate yeah, y'all, man. man. Yeah, anytime, Coming anytime. Hanging out, friends. 60 Minutes Shit Show, episode 9. Thanks for listening. Follow us, subscribe, like, share it. Pass it along to your constituents. One love. One love. Nas says hello, everybody. Oh. Hey, first letter of the alphabet. All right.